Hi, you guys. Um, welcome to Thursday. We are almost to the end of the week. Uh, nice short week, so that's helpful. Um, I want to start out by just going over a few things before um, we say our prayer. So um, I am, in general, very pleased with this class. I have seen you guys trying hard. Um, if you don't understand, you're very good at commenting and letting me know things. There are a few of you who are not consistently turning in your work. That I am worried about. Um, so here is the deal. On Fridays, look it up tomorrow when you see the um, thing. Um, on Fridays, we are going to be doing um, one of two things. Number one, if you have... Um, if you have something missing, that would be the first thing. Or if you have an F in something, um, you will go and check that out um, on Sycamore. So hopefully most of you have, a, a ton of you have gotten, you know, talk back and forth with me. Um, honest to God, I, I have done the um, Google Forms two different ways and both of them had equal problems. Why? I don't know. I Like, I changed it and it was still a problem. So, honest to goodness, I have no idea what is going on with that. So, I go through and I check your work and then I enter a grade. It is not necessarily what's on Google Classroom or Google Forms. It is what's in Sycamore. So, I want you to, at the end of, um, or not the end of today, Actually, it'll be Friday morning. I want you to go into Sycamore and check all of your grades and see where you're at. Okay, I will have entered everything that I have um, for the week. In previous weeks, there I took not every day. Um, like last week, I took one of, we had two days that were similar, and I took your better grade from that. So that was nice for you. So you don't have to, most of you don't have to go and change anything for that. So anyway, look at your grades. If you need to make something up, you redo it and resubmit it. Okay. And then you go on to number two, which is um, you will be doing, you can go to, I have um, a couple different sites that you can go to and practice some math problems. Um, and it's more like a game and fun not super fun, but you know, it's, it's more game like and question answer computer stuff. And then I have a Sudoku site. If you know of another math site, go and practice math on there. It is timed. It's only 45 minutes for tomorrow. Okay. For Friday. So, um, that's what you're going to do tomorrow. No new lessons, no video tomorrow. Okay. Um, so that takes care of that. I still see only 59 people on for PE. I don't know if some of you have not done that. Um, I feel like this class is watching the video, but if you know of someone who's not, um, yeah, that's gonna be a huge problem. So get yourself together, <laughs> watch the videos, take notes, make sure that you are all on track. And like I said, for the most part, I am super happy with this class. Good job. Um, all right, let's begin with our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. As we pray together, teach me, God, to add love and mercy towards others, to subtract sin and anxiety from my life, to multiply the fruits of the Holy Spirit, and to divide our differences as I share with others acts of mercy today. Um, we're going to pray for Lila and for her mom's soul. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Would you add in other people or things that you would like to pray for? We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the nurses and doctors and techs and ambulance drivers um, who put their lives on the line to help people and for grocery store clerks and um, people that are delivery people, um, and other people that bank people that are really, you know, kind of putting themselves on the line so that we can continue on with our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, Amen. All right. So I have um, stuff up here already for you. 
hopefully you can see that. So it is 12-5 odds and fairness. Um, so odds. It's odds in favor of and odds against. Okay, so would you copy down this spinner? <laughs> um, and I just put like a pretend arrow there. Okay. Um, so make sure you've done that. And then I'm going to push this out and we will go for it. I have continually lost black markers today. This is like the fifth black marker. Is my dog eating it? I honest to God have no clue. I hope I find the other four. Here's number five. I don't know where they're going. All right. So um, let's look up here first. So odds in favor of an event. How do I figure that out? That means the number of favorable outcomes, and I'll explain that in a second, over the number of possible outcomes, which is so similar to what we've already been doing. Okay, and then odds against an event, the number of unfavorable outcomes over the number of possible outcomes. And as long as we're here, and we'll get to this, this is the end of it, but um, it, the fairness of something, it's fair if the number of favorable outcomes equals the number of unfavorable. So it has to be like the same, obviously, that, that kind of makes sense, at least it makes sense in my little mind. Okay, so here we go. Um, let's find, here I've got 3, 5, 21, 13, 12, and 39. Find the odds in favor of landing on a multiple of three. So here you have to know two things. Number one, you have to know what are multiples of three. So we're talking 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, Keep going, keep going, keep going, okay? Um, so what I want to do is I want to make a list of all possible outcomes first, okay? So in favor of. So let's start with three. Is three, is that possible? Is that uh, a multiple of three? Yes. What about five? No. What about 21? Yeah, three times seven is 21. What about 13? Nope. Uh would not work. 12. Yes, 12 times 4 is, I mean, sorry, 3 times 4 is 12, so that would work. What about 39? Is that a multiple of 3? 13 times 3 is 39. All right, so how many favorable outcomes do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, out of how many possible? Well, how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Four out of six. A few of you have been giving me that as your answer. You're close, but you didn't reduce. What goes into both four and six? Looks like they're even, so I'm going to divide them by two. So I get two-thirds. Four divided by two is two. Six divided by two is three. Two-thirds. Okay. Um, in the book, it says write it as a fraction and write it... Um, like that. Okay, so ah, that's how we are going to write that. Yikes. Sorry, just tipped over my tea. <clears throat> Not unlike what happens to me at school. All right, now we're going to do find the odds um, against this happening. Okay, we're going to list all the possible ones that would not be a multiple of three. Three is a multiple, five is not. 21 is, 13 is not. 12 is, 39 is. So how many do I have against this? How many do I have that are not a multiple of three? I have two of them. Out of how many all together? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two out of six. We're not done. Ask yourself every time, what can I divide both 2 and 6 by? Anything? Yep. I can divide it by 2, and I get 1 third, or 1 to 3. Those are the two things that I'm going to be looking for. Okay? Um, there we go. Odds for, odds against. 
That seems to me to make sense, okay? I hope it does for you. Now, um, some of the things that it asks you to do in your book. Um, um, sometimes it puts them together. So it would be like, um, find the odds in favor of choosing um, a multiple of, let's say, a multiple of four and a multiple of, or, sorry, or a multiple of three. All right. Unfortunately, that would be the same. So let's do a multiple of five or a multiple of three. Okay, so I've got, here's a, make my list. Okay, so every time you're going to make a list. Uh, three, well, is five a multiple of five? Yes. What about that 21 is a multiple of three? So I can write that one down. Uh, 13, no. 12, yes. And 39, yes. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five favorable events. So I just combined those, you guys. I did all of them for three, and plus I added in, or it could be a multiple of five. Uh, so five out of six, can I reduce that? No. So five out of six, or five to six, all right? Um, what about against that? If I were to get the odds against a multiple of five or, or three, well, that would leave me with one. Look, five plus one is six. You always have to do that, and that's as low as I get, so it would be one to six or one to six. Either way, um, depends on what it asks you, which way it asks you to do it. It doesn't matter. You have to reduce them always, okay? Um, those of you, a few of you have been doing percents. If I'm asking for a fraction, leave it as a fraction, okay? Or write it like this. I don't want to see 25% unless it asks for a percent. Okay. Um, all right. So let's do a, a fairness one. Okay. So let me read you this example. Um, so Frank has two coins. All right. Coin one, coin two. This one he puts blue on that side and blue on this side. Okay. Um, and then on the other one, he does blue on this side and red on this side. Okay. Um, so what he wants to know, I just want to make sure that I did that right. On one coin, he tapes a piece of blue paper to both sides. On the other one, he'll tape a piece of blue to one and a piece of red on the other. Okay. So um, Frank and Lena are the two kids playing this. And he says, if, um, if I get, if both sides are the same color, so both sides, same color, Frank is going to get a point. If sides are different, colors, Lena gets a point. Okay. So, in my initial thinking, that doesn't seem like it's fair because there's more blue, right? But we have to figure out, is this true or not? So you have to actually do something about like this. So I'm going to make a table this time, okay? Um, I could list all of the possibilities, but I'm, I think it would be easier to do a table. So I've got blue and blue. Would you agree? Okay. And then on this side, I have red and blue. All right. So I want to see what my possibilities are. Okay. So this one, if I rolled it, I could get one red, one blue. And this one would be one red one blue, okay? On this one would be a blue and a blue, and this one would be blue and blue, okay? So, I have how many 
that would be um, different too for Lena, right? Well, let's do Frank first. Uh, both sides are the same color. That would be, I would have two out of how many possibilities? Four. Okay, so that equals one to two. Would you agree I can reduce that, right? All right, um, this is Frank. His odds are one to two. Now let's do Lena. Um, hers were different ones, two out of the four. So her chances are one to two. What? Honestly, I don't know why my little brain didn't think that, but I didn't see that that would be initially, before I did this to practice, um, I thought it would be different. But I drew something out here, and I probably should have made this red so that it made sense. Um, I made a table. So um, if you want to do a list and just do it across instead of a table, you could do that. Um, but do you see how I did this? So red and blue, red and blue. And this time I got blue and blue and blue and blue. So um, yeah, you can, you can do it either way. Just write out a list or you can make a table. Um, if the odds are equal in favor of, so in favor of and, in fav and unfavorable for either one, it would be the same. Then you have a game that is fair. You guys can play that game if you want to with someone in your family. Um, so, there we go. Um, that should give you, I believe, um, kind of your base for doing this. Um, yeah. Do your best. Um, if you have questions, you can always ask me. And otherwise, I will see you guys on Monday. Because remember, I'm not making a video tomorrow. You're just going to either play a game or um, do some corrections. Okay? I hope you have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday. Bye.